patrons of the government services where members of the civil and local government staff association operate are feeling under the effect, we understand, of the industrial action by clock suck. It's been going on for quite a while now. They are asking government to meet the demands of the members of the association as the impact of the strike they are reeling under has become unbearable. No big cross. Bianan was out there and about and how so filed this report. It's been three weeks to the strike by members of the Civil and Local Government Staff Association of Ghana. Leadership of Clocksack says its industrial action will continue until negotiations with governments are finalized. At the births and deaths registry, there is a constant reminder to patrons and staff that the strike continues unabated. <laughs> Some staff could be seen, some of the officers, but what they were doing there remains unknown. Clients were frustrated. I came to do my birth certificate and they said they are on strike. All their doors are locked. Nobody's attending to me. I've tried all my best and I'm coming from very far away. I've wasted so much to get here for me to be told they are on strike. It's sad. I don't know what this government is doing to help the situation. Uh, many of my people have uh, yeah, birth certificates. I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't know what I'm saying. But I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm I came to work on my birth certificate, but they said they are on strike. So I cannot get it. It's been so long, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, I come and check my birth set, my children's birth set. You see, that's why last last two weeks was here. Yeah, they said that they want to strike. That's why I, I came here today to check it if they are working. And I came, I didn't see anybody in this place. Traders operating in and around the enclave are also bearing the brunt of the strike. It affects me because some more here, Jumanka, a man for the birth set, my eco deliver. Because of the strike, there are no documents for us to deliver. And it is really affecting my business as a dispatch rider. I operate a um, printing press shop at Bettendale. But before the strike, business was cool. Like, people come to print and styles, but nowadays they don't come around because of the strike. So, government should solve their issue for them. Nobody comes to buy from us due to the strike. We sometimes carry our products back home. Government should please address the concern. At the Registrar General's Department, the situation is no different. Well, I've come to see to my re-registration document for almost about one month now. I have put in the application and nothing is going on. It's really affecting my business. And I really don't understand because, well, <laughs> we have to work and get our business running so that we can pay taxes. Yeah, I'm here to register my, renew my uh, business certificate. Mm. Get away from the north, precisely, to renew it for a purpose. And it's like, the whole place is shut down, no, nothing is going on. One thing remains clear. As Clocksack members remain resolute in their demand for the allowance, businesses and individuals can only wait until government addresses their concerns. Noble Crosby Allen for TV3 News, Accra.